If you thought Mark Niver was a surprise number one, well, we've got an even bigger one for you, a guy who's never done it in Top Alcohol Funny Car. Yeah, Mark Niver was number one for the third time in his career, first time since 1993. Doug Gordon, the first time he's ever been number one. And I had to check and find out that his dad never qualified number one either. That's a very good father-son race team. But right now, Doug Gordon's car is as strong as anybody in this field. And we're ready for round number two in that category as well. Here's what happened back in round number one. Get you up to date. And we start with John Lombardo, the higher qualified car, taking on Roger Bateman. The higher qualified car should move on. But when your reaction time starts with one, that's bad. When it starts with two, well, it ain't even close. Yeah, these things happen even to the great veteran drivers. And John Lombardo still relatively new at this and everything. A little glitch on the starting line. Roger Bateman took advantage. Run Running out of the Why Not stable. We'll talk more about that in the next round. Steve Gasparelli all the way from California taking on the ageless one, Vern Motes. Big race number here. Yeah, Vern continues to rack up the numbers. 251 races, more than anybody in the class. But the Gasparelli family, both Steve and Lou, have done well here. And they've both done well now against Vern Motes. 15-time Division Five champ Vern Motes bows out in round one. Gasparelli moves into round two. Then Alexis DeJoria and Lance Van Houn. Lance Van Houn's team continues to improve. They also won best appearing crew here this weekend. But Alexis Carr, right now, now is running very well. Got away with a little bit of a blip on the starting line there. Like you said, reaction time begins with a one. You're not going to win a lot of them, but she had enough race car under her to go the distance and advance to the next round. Perseverance, staying with it, keeping it off the wall, and taking it into the sunshine around number two, where Clint Thompson will pick his lane over the number one qualifiers. Gordon did advance. Steve Gasparelli as well will pick his lane on the other side of the ladder. It will be Alexis DeJoria picking hers against Roger Bateman and a great matchup. Sean O'Bannon and Jay Payne. It doesn't get any bigger than that.